Hi, my name is Teresa. I'm an American who moved to the Netherlands about a year and a half ago. I'm currently living in Amsterdam, which is the capital city. It's famous for its Dutch buildings, canals, bridges. It's one of the most beautiful cities in the whole world. And as much as I love living here, I'm actually not here to talk about Amsterdam today. In fact, I'm leaving the city and going on a little vacation. This is my husband, Jonathan, and today we are going to find the world famous Tulip Fields of Holland. A lot of international tourists visit the city and wonder where the location of the tulip fields are, but they're not in Amsterdam, they're a little bit further away, so since we don't have a car, we're taking our bikes and taking a train to the Dutch countryside. You can always rent a bike when you get to your destination, but for us it was cheaper just to bring ours, even though they kept falling over on the train. Um, but it was cheaper for us to bring our own since we were going to be staying a few days. The American tourist in me still gets pretty excited every time I get the chance to take a train. And this train ride was particularly interesting because we started to see the flower fields out the window. There are flower fields closer to Amsterdam, but those can get pretty crowded. So for our vacation, we decided to go a little bit further north. Once we got off the train, we still had to cycle a little ways before we got to our accommodation, and it shouldn't have taken us nearly as long as it did, but oh my gosh, I felt like we were cycling against the wind the whole time, no matter how many turns we took. Still, I'll take cycling in the countryside like this over cycling in the city any day, especially since we get to see cute animals. We eventually made it to our accommodation rested until the next morning when we got up super early to see the sunrise. It was still pretty cold, so the last thing I wanted to do was get up at 6 a.m. and cycle first thing in the morning, but I also knew the sunrise was going to be worth it, and I'm really glad I was right, and now looking back, I can say it was worth getting up to see this. We had mapped out a route the night before, so we kind of had an idea where we were going, so it didn't take us long to start finding flower fields. The first field we found was this massive field of hyacinths. For some reason, people don't talk about the hyacinth fields as much as they do the tulip fields, but they're just as beautiful. Plus, unlike tulips, they have an amazing fragrance. Once we found the first field, it didn't take us long to start finding more. The fields were all pretty close together, so I'm really glad we were cycling instead of driving because that made it a lot easier to stop at each field and take loads of pretty pictures. These fields were absolutely massive and they went on for as far as I could see. And there were so many different colors, I think we saw pretty much every color I can think of. Of course, we took plenty of beautiful pictures. I mean, this is a photographer's paradise. I also want to mention that you shouldn't actually enter the fields themselves unless the farmer is there and you can ask them for permission. In recent years, too many people have walked up and down fields without asking and that can potentially damage the flowers. Um, some farms even had signs asking people not to enter them unless you were otherwise granted permission. That said, you can still take loads of pretty pictures from right in front of the fields. We got really lucky with how sunny and warm it was this weekend. The weather in the Netherlands is infamously unpredictable, and if it had been even a little more windy or rainy, which is more common here, this trip would not have been nearly as much fun. We eventually made it to these sand dunes with a footpath that led to a viewpoint where you could see the fields from a higher perspective. This is exactly what you see on the postcards for the Netherlands. And after seeing this view right here, oh my gosh, I was so excited and I felt like I could finally check the flower fields off my bucket list. I can't imagine it getting much better than this view right here. Our final destination before turning back around was the beach. 
Due to corona restrictions, restaurants were only open for takeaway, but since it was such a nice day, this ended up being the perfect place to relax for a bit. We slowly made our way back to our accommodation, where we just chilled out until later that evening. We passed a windmill earlier in the day and I knew it was going to be in the perfect position at sunset. The scene I'm about to show you is too beautiful for words, so I'm just going to stop talking for a second and just show you. There was also a super moon on this day, and I couldn't believe it when we passed this red field with this bigger than average moon over it. I felt like we were in some sort of vampire romance novel. And that was it. The next day, we left our accommodation and slowly started making our way back to the train station that would take us back home to Amsterdam. It was also King's Day on this day, so we passed lots of festivals and little Dutch kids who set up booths to sell baked goods. King's Day is just one more thing that makes April in the Netherlands amazing. The last thing I did was buy tulips from one of these local stands. These are all over the place where people are selling flowers and they just trust you to leave exact change. Um, I had a couple of years on me so I was able to bring back a little bunch of tulips with me. If you ever find yourself in the Netherlands during flower field season, I highly recommend you take the time and make a trip out to see them. They're one of the things in this world that just exceeds all expectations and it was totally worth all the hype that I had heard about them. I'm a photographer, so you know I took some amazing photos from this trip, so I'd love if you went to my Instagram and checked them out. This was my very first video, so thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.